So, well, that's... Um... Uh, on effects, you grab the skull, and you hiccup a little bit, and the hiccup is just enough to, like, startle you a little bit, and you drop the skull. It breaks. Like, How could it break? It's surrounded in leather. You hear it cracking. Uh, alright, you know what? together, it's just... So, so it's perfectly fine, the crack is just... It's, it's a fucking crack in the skull. I'll just, you know what? I'll, I'll use metal next time, and do something with that, and I'll just take the crack... I'm not, skull. I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to do with this, but... Done. What is that? You have mending. I have Druidcraft. Druidcraft wouldn't really do it. I fuse it. You... You can make flowers bloom around it. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, you know what? How am I going to take this cracked dial skull? And, uh... The crack makes it look more menacing. It looks like you punched the dire wolf in the head. Yeah, at least I'll say that one. Uh, and I'll take the, uh, massive tatters out of my inventory, and I won't even add the fucking thing, the, uh, that I just had. Dire wolf skull. Cracked dire wolf skull. And... There we go. And I will just... Leave and change. Uh, so while all that's going on, Hoth, I believe that you're going to go complete to a manager. Yep. What you waiting for? Alright. Yeah. It's up this way. From what he told you. Their guild war going on. Is he attacking again? Ah, the So this they just let me wander in. Yeah, the door's open. It's it's a military outpost, so you can figure that a lot of people just walk in and out of this all the time. Alright. Can I help you, miss? Only if you happen to be Captain Salik. I am. I'm here on behalf of the Wit Trading Company. Oh, you're here with the supplies. Uh, no, I'm not. When is the supplies was... coming in? Uh, they'll be coming in when you are able to collect them from the veritable rat swarm that had descended upon us, killing two of our people. Now, we've... we I'm sorry, what? We've had a little bit of a rat issue, but... Yes, That's... and this issue has carried far beyond your control to the point where Swarms of rats wait to ambush people, not a stone's throw away from the road, not even a mile away from your town. And where was this at exactly? Uh, Hearth just uh, gestures in the direction and gives a rough estimate of distance. Alright. Uh, she's make make sure to like tell them about the two carts, the dead horses, the dead people. That sounds uh, well extreme. Yes, it is. Imagine our surprise when we thought we were walking in the open arms of safety. And then your own town, a poor woman has lied dead in her bed for a week. A noble woman. Well, I'm sorry, what? Lady Emily of Dawn has met her end at the rat problem you refuse to help with.
At least I am told she is Emily. We can't tell. She's nothing but clones. Where did you find her body? In her house, you numbskull. <laughs> oh, I'll have to check this out. Thank you for informing me. She basically just, like, takes a handkerchief, and where you might think she's gonna dab her eyes, she wipes blood off her face. Oh, you are hey. most welcome. Ow. Here, take the sea hands your healing potion, a health potion. This isn't reparations. I pocket it rather than drink it. You see, we're not too wealthy of the place. We get supplies, but money... Money doesn't come in too often. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to double-click. Yes, well, oh. it would do well to keep your supply lines open. We are but humble merchants, and had no idea the horrors we were traipsing into. Huh. Well... Well, be on the lookout for that. You might want to go talk to Yunan about his wife. We've already looked for him. He appears to be nowhere. He hasn't left town. Huh, well then, perhaps the town should find him. He seems rather important. And his wife, too? Yunan is own accountant. But his wife is rather important, and I'll be sure to let Lord Tornon know, send word to him at least about this. Hearth just nods. She kind of wants to get out of here. If you have no other business in town, we could always send you back to Dawn. I'm afraid we'll have to stay here a little while. Uh, we're rather shaken up and need to recover. Yes, yes, I see. Feel free to use the barracks. Sweet. We don't have much yeah. of an inn around here, it's just spaces taken by those who need it. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? I got a little. No, no, you've done quite enough already. And then she walks away. All right, well, I got a bit of book to get going on. He takes a step forward, grabs some paper and a pen, and comes over and talks to this guy. Alrighty. So we're staying in this town for a while. At least until we can figure this Yunnan thing out. I think we need him as proof we actually made it here or something. Well... We'll need him to tell the Von Witt Trading Company anyway. Yeah, I'm good for just resting for now. Oh, like... me too. It's been a day. <laughs> yes. It fucking has. It has been just one day. Oh well. I guess I'll go, I guess we'll go to the barracks, or did you guys have anything else that you need to do? No. Nah. Alright, then I'm gonna head over to the barracks. Wait, Shagra, where did you go? She went up to the barracks. Oh, cool. Well, uh, what, are we just gonna check out that thing in the morning? Just get a good rest and then go check there? Uh, Fuck yes. Out. That would be best. Now, while you guys are still in this little alleyway, Shogwath is going to speak up. So, um... Pretty sure this is connected to what is going on here, but... I came into this town looking for 
There's some strange magical devices that's been going around. Things that use some necrotic energy to change things. Okay. Yeah, I have one of those. She looks like you do. Mm-hmm. Killed one of the things. Yes, you are uh, not capable. Very fun. Uh, house had some beers. All three of us got knocked the fuck out. Might I see that? Mm, sure. She goes on to it and takes a look. Hmm. There was I've, I've heard word of a few of um. Mainly. There's someone with this kind of magic that, well, my brother was working for that I don't really trust. Oh, bro. You mean the kid? The kid? Oh, that young one? That youngling that's been traveling with you? Yeah, yeah, him. The guy with the thing. No. It, it's clear that Ornifex is, like, out of it. Uh. I was about to say, what the fuck is Ornifex doing? That makes no sense. Well, my brother is spoken for. This rather. Well, long story short, I'm just trying to find out a little bit about this. I've heard about this brat issues that they've been having, and. It's happened around the same time that this man popped up. Not too uh, far away either, so... Well, that's cool. interesting. Guess we can all go to the Bloodlands together tomorrow. Uh, that one fix just walks into the barracks and falls flat on her, flat on his face asleep. Okay. Uh, well, I think we should follow suit and then go to sleep. I'm gonna go do that. Oh wait, no. I'm actually before I go do that. Uh, I'm gonna be like, Horace, I gotta go see if I can buy some stuff, and uh, I'm just gonna go ask somebody. This person over here is there like a a shop in town? As he's waving, I kind of give him like the side eye. It's like I'm not your mom. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yes, honey. There's a shop right down over there. She points off in this direction. Sick. Thank you. No problem, honey. Right Alrighty. Right uh, across from Tavern over there. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I don't care. Um, well, hello there. What you got? <laughs> You're a happy fellow. What you got here for the big purchase? Oh, I got all sorts of food, weapons. Got a few books here and there. Is that, what are you uh, looking for? Well, some kind of a, uh, I would say ore, some maybe metal ingots, something that I can use uh, for smithing. Well, we were gonna have a shit of those, but <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> it hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> well, we're rather low on supplies for that, but I do still have some stuff around here. Well, uh, what you got? Oh, I got some of these, um... Well, exactly, what are you trying to make? Uh, and I'll pull out the cracked dial skull. Um, that was he. I had, uh, some stuff. Some leather. And I tried to, you know, combine... Wow, that's like, one ugly pictures. piece of art. Thanks, it was my best try. I tried to make it into a helmet. And I'm not too great with leather. But metal, metal, I can, I can do stuff. So, uh, oh. I'd like to try again with some kind of metal substance to make it. I have it a few copper ingots if you're interested. Copper? You got anything stronger than copper? Oh. Kidding me? This man has copper ingots. We get them. We'll make copper pieces. <laughs> well, I can't afford that. What else you got? Well, um, we also have some iron and steel. Uh, how much for those? 
Well, the iron is... looks at table. Um... <laughs> Which one are you referring to? There's multiple in that place. Oh. But, um... <laughs> oh, the table. That's stupid. Well, for the steel one, that's... about 500 gold. And for the iron? So are you going to kill him an hour later? <laughs> oh, the iron, that's just 50 gold. Um... About 30 gold. I'm sorry, this is... This is a military outpost. Our price is a bare minimum as it is. Yeah, well... <laughs> maximum I'll pay is 30 gold. <laughs> All you have, thirty. Shush! Don't now look. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> Do you run back to Ornifex, who's passed out? Snatch your stuff, or snatch your platinum and run back? Oh my god! Now, only... I'm not again not really able to sell it any more, any less than fifty gold. <sighs> Word of Hicks wakes up and goes looking for food. What would you like to trade? She remembers bread. Or he remembers bread in here. See this hand axe? I wave at the guy behind the counter. He waves back. I'll be with you in just a moment. Yeah, how about the trade with the um, hand axe and some gold? Uh, what? Can I see this hand axe? Yeah, I'll pull out a, just a regular hand axe. Not the special one, but the regular... Damn, what's helpful that. that you can offer with the special one? Also, didn't you give up your weapons? Yep. Son of a bitch. And I don't well, know where the fuck you hit that shit. Alright, he asked for the hand axe, and I say, I don't have a hand axe on me at the moment. But once this deal is made, I'll free the hand axe and the gold. Oh, I'm turn. sorry, that's not going to work out for me. I mean, I'm not going to take your stuff. Alright, look, I'll be back in a few moments. And I leave to go find this, uh, my stuff. <laughs> Give me an investigation check. Oh, so what can I help you with? Uh, I remember that I'm missing a deck. Oh my god. <laughs> So what can I help you with? Um, uh, I remember I'm missing a dagger, and I'm like, the the big guy can make make weapons. So I'm like, I need metal, but I'm like drunk, so I need metal. I need metal. What kind of metal are you looking for? The sharp kind. The metal cash. <laughs> well, you got I need to get it here for fifty gold. Um, she, she's like, I don't have fifty gold. I'll trade it for some. What are you saying? A hand axe. A hand axe. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, I produce my hemp rope. Um. What does a tinderbox do? Why do I have a tinderbox? It lights it fire. fire. Oh, it lights fire so for torches. Um, I, I pull out the 50 feet of hemp rope that I have. Um, the torches and tinderboxes and tinderbox. And I'm like, I'll trade you this for some metal. 
Do you have some gold to go along with that? One platinum. Um, sorry, that's not nearly enough. I have to actually make ends meet over here. A platinum? Platinum is worth ten gold. Yeah, yeah but platinum, platinum and all that shit, shouldn't that add up to like fifty? No, that stuff is actually super cheap that you offered up. Yeah, it's just really cheap. Um, yeah. Like, um, he briefly considers the fact that he could smoke the hip rope, but... Uh, yeah. I place a potion of healing on the counter. The hip rope. Oh. Wanna trade a potion for it? Yeah. Potion of healing. Yep. Alright, I'll also take the hip rope. Fine. He gets a wide smile as he takes both the items and puts an iron ingot on the table. One? Do you want the wrap? Artifacts takes out two pieces of, like, this really premium grade white paper and it's like, do you want this to go with a hemp? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she, he he kind of looks at the iron and goes, one more. Ah, oh, I got some paper over here. He like slides one over and it's like, this is premium quality. I'm not even sure if we have one more. Our supply line is supposed to come in. I'll give you the other stuff I said. Except for the platinum. I'll keep the platinum. Alright. Alright. So, milk right. off the torches, tinderbox. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put like explorer pack and what I have left in it. All right. I'll milk off those items and also that potion of healing. Yep. So, did I basically just take all of his iron and leave? Yeah, his whole one piece of iron. Yeah. Well, I thought I got two because I. No, oh, we only yeah, have the one. one piece of iron. Alright, I, I shrug and I go, can I at least get a copper for giving you the two pe premium pieces of paper? He goes to one of the bales and pulls out a loaf of bread. I can give you this. Deal. Deal. The deal has been struck. Back, back. Meanwhile, I found my, my stuff, right? Uh, yes, you go looking around, and you do, in fact, find the weapons. Which includes three hand axes and two battle axes, as well as a broken axe. Uh, yes, you also find a squirrel that is trying to... Well, it's found the shininess of these rather alluring, and it's currently trying to drag it off somewhere. Oh, cute squirrel. Can I grab the squirrel? Uh, <laughs> the squirrel is me... now with us for the end. <laughs> Higher adventure. Give me an athletics you're gonna, check. You're oh. gonna roll a nat 20 oh, on the animal. Athletics or an handle animal, depending on how you want to go about <laughs> it. Athletics, bro. Alright, um, let's find a squirrel's um, acrobatics real quick. <laughs> uh, I wave to the guy and leave, and then I head back. And as I'm walking out, I, I'm just, I, I have a piece of iron with me. And bread. And bread. I'm like munching on the bread. <laughs> oh, come on, can't do it. I, Man, I, I woke up hungry. I came for a purpose, also because I needed to get that. <laughs> I came for a purpose. For bread, bread and daggers. Oh my god. Alright. That is my purpose. Oh, yeah, sorry about taking All right, this. So that is a minus four. Uh, no, wait. Plus zero to each set. Huh? Um, you managed to grab onto the scroll by the deck. <gasps> gently. I gently grab the squirrel. Alright. Oh, man. It is, like, it's terrified at the moment. A massive half wolf just grabbed it. Alright. And then I want to try to, like, calm it down. Give me a handle animal. If only you had a druid. I can do this myself. Oh, I did it twice. I got a nine. Alright, um, it goes to bite your hand. Because you're holding it, it's going to be an auto hit for one damage. 
Ah, well. And give me a dexterity save. Oh, Damn it! You... Uh, as it bites you, you come instinctively drop it, and it goes running off. <laughs> Does the squirrel come running to me and start complaining about being bold? <laughs> no. Yeah, but, um... Uh, come on. You do know that Subway or A, yeah. a squirrel is being bullied Subway or... I kind of want to throw a rock at it, because I just wanted to love it. What? fuck it, it can leave. And I'll take my six weapons and go back to the shop. <laughs> All right, shopkeep. I got, uh, I got my 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 hand axe as well as. Um, oh, if you're still trying to get that iron ingot, it's already been sold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose you'd be willing to trade two hand axes for a steel ingot, would you? <laughs> Ah. Uh, well. And X's are worth like 10 or 5 <laughs> gold, by the way. Perhaps if it was some sort of magical one, maybe, but. No, <laughs> don't have one of those. No. Ah, uh, well. In that case, I don't really. Well. <clears throat> really How much was that. the copper? Does, does he know that it was me that bought it? Nope. <laughs> you just thought I was there? I. Oh, uh, God. Uh, the copper one is also 50 gold. 50 for copper? You... Th this is an actual, like, copper ingot that's rather large, made into that little bow shape. I feel like I'm getting worked off regardless. Alright, uh, whatever your face. I don't remember your name. I got this, um, this, uh, some rope. I got... <laughs> uh... That's pretty much all I got. I got rope. Grow wide as, he, as he brings out the rope. It's a hip rope. I got ten feet hemp and rope. Oh, dude, I have fifty. What do you want? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want this rope? No, wait, it is fifty feet, isn't it? They come. It depends on if it says you that you have rope in like a pack or something, then yeah, it's fifty feet. It says ten pounds, and I read it as ten feet. Yeah. I believe it depends on what pack. Some other packs have different feet. You want this I rope? I got this can rope. give you some gold for that rope. I mean, copper for that rope. Some of the copper the copper ingot? No, uh, you could possibly melt the copper down into a copper ingot if you have enough of the, them, however. How much would that be copper. require? Um... Oh, the size of a cup of ingot, the fact that they have stuff engraved in them, and the fact that I'm not a blacksmithing expert. Probably around... One sec. Two hundred and fifty pieces? Oh my god! Actually, no, that's not that bad. That's only 25. I mean, 25 silver. 25 silver? That's it's like, like gold. Thing. It's like 2 gold and 50. Um, I mean, 2 gold and 5 copper. I mean, 2 gold, 5 silver. That's what I meant. 2.1? 2. 2.5 gold. I don't know. Um, and that's like for the average size. This guy has one that's actually large enough to, like, have a lot of material from. Uh, let's see. Because the copper bars aren't pure. I got rope. I got a mess kit. You just, want the mess kit? You just want to ask him who bought it and try to buy it from them. No, no. Oh. Look, I'll I'll buy that rope from you, but not too interested in the mess kit or nothing like that. All right, never mind. I'll take the rope since it'll be more useful. Uh, before I'll give you I go, for it. Before I go, because you're not getting my rope, do you... Do you want... How much would you be willing to buy this rope? And I pull out the funny-looking ring that I got from that dude. Uh, 
Well, it looks rather nice. Yeah, it looks um, nice, doesn't it? Maybe, like, could be used for, like, engagement or something, so I'm gonna say, yeah, if you wanted to trade that for the copper you can get, that's worth about 50 gold as well. Uh, no, and I take the, the ring and leave, and go dejectedly back to the barracks. Then I give Ornifex. I go over to Ornifex and, um, where is he? Hey, Ornifex, wake up. And I mm, wake him up. What? Here's what? your leather working Am shit. I still drunk? Oh, uh, yeah, because drunkness does not go away that fast. Okay. Here's your leather working uh, kit back. Oh, the, oh, yeah. That's where my dagger went. Yeah, and, and the dagger. The da yeah, you can have the dagger back, too, damn it. Um, and here's your crossbow. Uh, oh, thanks. I kind of like reach down and take out the ingot. I'm like, I don't need this anymore. What the, get, can I have that ingot? Sure. Alright, here's your crossbow and your dagger and your leatherwood kit. Thanks for the ingot. And I... I'm gonna try to... Before I go to sleep, because after I do this I'm going to sleep, I'm gonna try to use my... Um, Smithing tools to make this into uh, the helmet. Is there a forge that I can do this with? Uh, you cannot do that today because of how much you've already done today. Oh yeah. All right. Well then I'll, um, I would ask a, a guard if there's a forge real quick. Uh, well, no. There's a uh, over in Vincent. I think that they built a lot of the weapons that's distributed out the nation, but they're not too far off, but we don't have any here. Ah, uh, okay. And then I'll just go to sleep. Because right. I can't get... So you all rest for the night. Your health goes back up to full, getting all your spells, all that good stuff. Sick. Now... Wait. All right. There you go. Because the goats are better at their jobs, and you had nobody keeping watch, you all get slit in the third, in the middle of the night, and that's campaign over. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. All right. So, at all actuality, yeah, you wake up the next day. Yeah. All right. Where? Uh, Hearth. Um, Hearth. By the Hearth, way, give me a Constitution save throughout the night. Oh God. Stop breathing. Um, so, Shagroth has horrible gas whenever she's sleeping. <laughs> it's oh, horrible, full-blooded orc farts. You're having okay. issues sleeping throughout the night, unless you wanted to change beds. Really? Uh, I mean, I, I had three kids. I can't handle little orc farts. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's a According good point. to the rules, no. That, that's a good point. You you managed to just power through it. You wake up the <laughs> next day a little bit. Uh, um, oh, it affects, with how much you drunk effectively for this morning, you have sunlight sensitivity. That's good. Sweet. That's why I don't uh, I immediately cast light. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> sunlight. Right. Sunlight. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to Hearth and be like, "Hey, I you ready to go? You ready to go? Yes. yes. Yeah. Get out of bed and let's go." And I rush over to um, the uh, uh, floor. Wait, aren't we going to the Bloodlands? No, no, no. There's no. a trap door down here. That's like months you guys did tell me that. Yeah, because you were getting drunk. I, I'm confused. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm like. I'll just. Be, I. I just think they're gonna go like look at the crime scene. So I'm just like, all right, I'll. I'll be here. Tell me when you name it. Come with us, fool. Oh. Okay. What effects? Um. Yeah. Aren't we going to the Bloodlands though? I heard that Union guy just. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. We're gonna go to the Bloodlands. But come inside real quick. I got a magic trick to show you. Uh, if you guys are going to go to the like Bloodlands, I was actually going to go to the arena up north of here. If you guys want to go do that afterwards. 
Yeah, it's getting hurt. Chagra? Sweet. Yeah. I'm gonna... Everybody come inside, and then with, like, a magician's finesse, I want to whip that damn thing off the floor. And go, ta-da! Give me a sleight of hand. Oh, god damn Meanwhile, it. Ornifex does not care and is looking at this chest that is ripped open. I knew you would. Uh, Ornifex, yeah, you see a lot of nice jewelry in there and some fine clothes. So you guys don't care if I take this, right? No, I kind of uh, figured you would anyway. Okay, cool. I would rather you not steal from a noble woman. Yeah, I decided not to do that. I, I, I kind of look you at her and off. I go, that one? <laughs> And I point at the dead body. Yes, we are upstanding citizens. This is a noble woman. Wretched. You are. I'm from the woods. <laughs> I take the jewelry. Ooh, pretty jewelry. Alright. Yeah, the carpet's moved. So, make sure jewelry. that you have, um... When, uh, Emily Thornin's jewelry down. Uh, how, how, how do you spell her name? Realize, uh... Her family are calling her dead. noble woman, and you're stealing her. I can always explain that I'm get, traveling to give it to her, like parents or something. Exception. I put it in chat. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. All right, you guys ready to go inside this uh, rat-infested dungeon? I turn around and I'm like, was that always there? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, let's go. Horn effects. And I yeah 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 cool. I want to pull the um pull that open. All right, you pull it open and you see a ladder that just goes down into darkness. Hey, Ornifex, can you see in the dark? I have the paper. I cast light. You're an idiot. You have light sensitivity. No, sunlight it's sunlight. Oh, okay. I don't know how that works and what that means. It means if I'm outside and I don't have my hood up, I get disadvantage on almost everything. And this, Cause this he's light doesn't make any Uh, this light's magic. Stupid magic. Alright, let's go. Wait. I cast light on a splinter, like a chunk of the chest, and drop it down the hole first. Ah, it I drops... Do? It goes about 50 feet, and then it hits the bottom. Oh yeah, did was the paper still there? Because I, uh, I take that as well. No, I took that. Oh, you took that? Never mind, I don't take that. Uh, her, her uh. like, thing to well, nobility. And while you guys are all standing around this looking down, I want everybody to give me a perception check. Ugh. Not gonna wait. Uh, perception, perception, perception. Where's my perception? There it is. 21. Alright. Hoth and Unifex. You hear rats skittering. There's a there? lot of them. Yeah, they're Oh, down. well then I immediately cast... Huh. Firebolt. That's it. Uh. Down the thing. You cast Firebolt. You're not able to see any of them. No, I just like straight down. Alright. You hear a few of them scrambling away. Probably should have done Ray of Frost. Now that I Probably think should have just waited. <laughs> but yeah, that seems like it would be a good, uh, good thing. Let's just head down now. And I start to climb down the ladder. Alright, who's going down next? Shall I go on? I, I don't care, I'll go down. But first I cast Blade Ward on myself. Hmm. Alright. Um. You'd have to keep it's casting answer. that if you want to go down at the bottom with it. Because you only move at a speed of about 15 feet down the ladder. Oh, it's it's not <clears throat> like. How deep is it? Because we could see the footfall. Yeah, as I said, it's 50 feet. Oh, it's 50. I thought you said 15. Okay, never mind. Uh, when, when we get like 15 feet from the bottom, I'll cast that. Okay. So it's Ulgron, then. Uh, own effects. Hoth, are you going next? I might as well. And then Shogroth goes in very last. Give me a okay. second.
Spooky scene change. Right. Pretty big. That's actually easy. Alright. Cool you guys are at the oh, top yeah. right. Top left? Top left. I pick up my light infused chest piece. Alright, um. Just to make sure, currently, Onavex and Hearth, you have, like, abs almost no vision, right? Currently, I can't see yes, but I do have a light object. Okay. That may be because it hasn't loaded for me yet. No, it's because I haven't actually set it to where you're gonna have a decent amount of light yet. Oh, okay. And I have dark. Let's see. Yep. You should be able to see fine, but... Onavex, it's light. 30 feet, start of the dim is 15, all players can see. Oh, there we go. I have it on my wand, by the way. The tip of my wand. Hmm. I need to read light, because that confused me when I first read it. Alright, so as you come down, you see a whole lot of rats. There are two of the larger ones that seem to be gnawing on something on the ground and don't quite notice you right now. Um. So this is pre. Oh, yeah. Pre uh, initiative. Yeah. Um. Are we? So so I kind of look and I say attack, right? Yeah, I assume so. Uh, can you give me another token? Shit, what has this drop? Uh, air effect thing? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Whoops. It was double everyone. Uh. <laughs> the world does not need two hulls. Hey. <laughs> How far away? Um, range is 90 feet and it's 20. Okay. Um, I cast it at semi-max range. I'll cast it right there. Cast it right cast there. It? Uh, entangle. Oh. Can everybody see the ore for that? I can. Alright. So, so that's what I'm supposed to lose. You cast entangle and you see these uh plants just come out of the dirt from all angles and begin to wrap up all these rats. I believe that they get a straight save whenever they first come in contact with it, right? Uh, yeah, my, my DC is 12. Oh, no, 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 this is, uh, my druid DC, so my druid DC is 12 as well. Okay. Uh, one of the normal rats big free, and then the larger rats. One breaks free, both fake break free. So they were just. Oh, well. Low chats. Alright. Uh, they're not actually asleep, they're just kinda entangled for that little icon there. And with that, does I anybody else want to do anything? Get... I also believe that counts as grappled, so they get disadvantage. To yeah. John attacks. They are restrained. Yeah, restrained, sorry, not grapple. Uh, I would like to take a swipe at this thing right at the if I can. Alright. Full attack. You go to slash at it, however, the vines make it rather difficult to take the full swing, and a lot ah. of that takes the brunt of it. A fucking one. The rat has more than enough time to dodge out of the way. 
All right. Well, uh, fine. Don't put this on me. I'm not. Gee. Oh. If it's reasonable to me to have gotten my short bow out, I would take a shot at the big rat. Uh, which one? The big one. There's two big ones. I can only see one. Oh, yeah. Alright, oh. so. Make you attack. That hits. Surprise! Five motherfuckers. And... Shogroth is going to shoot at the same one with her light crossbow. That hits for one damage. So it took five damage? Is that right? Yep. Cool. And with that, roll initiative, please. Uh, fuck. Don't forget to click on the character. Hey, I got a nine. I. Got a seventeen. I can use hit die to re-roll, right? Uh, no. I think that's a thing that you came up with. <laughs> that sounds like the most unreal thing ever. No, I mean, like he he did it for his game, but I think that's just the thing that he made up for his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was because basically everybody had like a four. Except for one person and the monster. Right. Ah. How unfortunate. So, how All right. Oh, wait. Shagroth right. needs to roll as well. Let's see. Are those combined groups of rats, or are they just two? They're combined. Okay. Yeah, I have to deal with a lot of them to keep those rats at us. Jesus Christ. Uh, by the way, for her uh, little action that she did before initiative, she just prepared a small vial of clay liquid. Ah, uh, so. Yeah. That's hilarious. I need to buy me some armor. So oh, wait, you have... Why does it keep doing that? I will take another shot at yeah. that rat. That hits. You release the arrow and the rat's just skewed. Alright. Uh, that is rough terrain, right? The entangle? Yes. Yeah, it's strength. And it counts as a yeah, tough terrain. Alright, so this rat's Woo! going to go 10 foot of movement and dash away. Alright, so it's my turn? Uh... Yes. Um... I'm gonna take another swing at this rat that's right in front of me. With... My hand back. You got a 15. Did I hit? Uh, 15. Yes, you do hit. Rat goes uh, slow. Like, what? I didn't even roll damage. Yeah, the, yeah, the, small, the small rats have one health. Oh. Yeah. And then I'll come over to this one over here. And, roll uh, strength. Yeah, pretty good. And, no, uh, he doesn't have to roll whenever he enters it. That's a different addition. 5e, it's just the one time once it... Like, we had to look that up whenever it was... Oh, was yeah, that's time. right. All right, and then I'll I'll take a swing at that um other one with my other hand back. Twenty two, jeez, and then that's dead too. Yeah. And it doesn't really uh, matter, but you had advantage on that attack, so. I moved. I want to say ten feet. Yeah, so I got another uh twenty Five. feet of movement. Oh, yeah, this it's is tough for you. Yep. I'm oh, so you get yeah. 10, 20, sorry. You get 10. And that's all I can do. Alright. No more rats. The two entangled ones are gonna try to not be entangled. Yes, Eight. give us more numbers. And 17. 
Uh, 12 is the DC. Yep. So this one is going to dash, and it has to move its move, and it's move it there. Other one's unable to move. This one over here is also gonna skitter off. Oh. Uh, Wait. There's also... There we go. Oh, of course you have to. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so all effects. Um... Can I use druid craft so the plants will not entangle Ogron? Uh, the plants already don't through. entangle, and if you're trying to make it to where it's like oh, yeah, not rough terrain, right. then it doesn't really do that much. Druid craft is like barely anything, really. It's more of a, more of like a little flavor kind of thing, than an actual combat usage. I mean, I can move plants with it and stuff. Alright, so I'll move up here, and I will... Fire my light crossbow at this one. Alright. Ten. That... One second. There's advantage. Oh yeah, that's oh, no, right. It's, yeah. I think it's only advantage if you have melee range. Uh, and that does hit. So that rat is dead. Alright, and then, uh, that's it. Shargoth is going to take a step forward. Damn plants. And... Strange one this. Um, <coughs> uh, she's going to take out a small glowing vial and throw it at that rat. Oh, don't tell me it's alchemist, alchemist fire. Okay. Oh, thank god. Can we ask? Uh, you see, as this file hits the rat, the rat just squeals as it turns into mush. Ooh. Oh, thank god, I'm just working fire. Jesus Christ, monkey boys. Goodbye, God. Alright. Alright, I anticipate this. Alright, so. The rat went off in a. Uh, this direction. I'm guessing this direction over here is a dead end. Yeah, they're both dead ends. Great. Uh, is that blood? That is in fact blood. A trail oh, of blood. Fuck. Oh fuck. And as you come around, the rats were actually gathering up to go forward. So back to initiative. Which way? That way or that way? Uh, well, gathering up to go back towards you guys. Oh, uh, no. You said re-roll initiative? Yep. I got a 13. God damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Your girlfriend acts next week, man. <laughs> oh my fucking god, you shit roll. Where'd the big lot get? Oh, great. You always move so quickly. This is bullshit. Bone effects. 
Uh, hi. Yes, that's my name. Um. I didn't mean to click that. I wonder if that's but all you walk up, you see this trail of blood. And around the corner, there's a rat that just kind of jumps out until it's all gone. Oh, that's where you're at. Oh, it's Cone of Cold. Dang, it's not Ray of Frost. I was like, haha, I can hit them all. No, it's Cone of Cold. Yeah, Cone of Cold is like level. That's fifth level. Yeah. Cone of Cold. I know what I'm gonna do. What? Um, yeah. Let's do this. Because it's still my turn, they don't get attack of opportunity. Actually, why wouldn't they? Oh, well, it's not because it's not my turn, it's because I'm still in their attack, um, whatever it's called, circle radius. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. You all know what time it is. Preemptively hard. <laughs> Fix her fingers in her ears. Alright. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? So it's you... time for the Thunder Wave! So will the damage. Bye. Uh, the low trap does save, however, the rest of them. <laughs> just laugh. All day. You watch as Ornifex just claps his hands and blood is just spattered across the walls. Ew. Um, My job's done. I okay. had a 13. I accidentally deleted the, that one. Oh, sorry. I'll and that going. one does save and takes half damage. And there's still two surviving little rats, is that correct? Yep. Alrighty. So you pushed him back uh, there ten feet. Uh, that one rat that did save got pushed back against the wall. We can't go any further. Uh, no, he's not pushed. The rat that saved is not pushed. Huh. Well, the rest of them, the ones that are still up, they won't even in the radius because they have one health. So. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. This one uh, if you save, they take half damage. So if it's a small rat, I, I know, I know. Oh, they're gonna attack you now. Yeah! <laughs> they all move out before they sort of well timed their attacks. They have the whole pack thing going on. Pack mentality. Oh god. They have the pack skill. Oh. Uh, that is a 9, 16, 18. AC's 15. Alright, so that's two points of damage. No. <laughs> Two points. Like it doesn't See, you laugh, hurt. but to me that actually hurts. Oh, oh Ron, the Lord Red is barely standing at this point. However, it looks like it's ready to go leap at Ornifex. And the yeah. three smaller rats are currently biting at his ankles. I'm gonna have to throw my axe at the big rat. And miss, huh? Yep. You throw it and. It goes, slams right next to it. I'm gonna throw the other axe. That axe hits. Good. And, and it also breaks because it's magic. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna walk over and pick up my piece of axes if I can. Alright. That would be. That takes up your turn. I can't use the last 15 feet of my movement? Uh, no, if you're like walking up to them and picking them up, that's gonna take up the rest oh, of your turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's okay. gone. Oh. Are you gonna mock them? Um, I'll stand here and shoot at them. Dance on effects, dance. Wait, what are you doing? Oh my. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, what are you shooting? Right. Right, you okay, shoot, right. and because that doesn't go quite through his face, you do get the normal amount for that, and that <sighs> dies. Right. Sugar calmly walks over. Just, just ignores us. Keeps walking. 
just looks at you guys like, alright. And she's going to... She's gonna take her light crossbow and shoot at one of the rats. Take care of the rat. Dagger, dagger. You just like stab the rat, biting at your ankles, and that's dead. And faking strips. And faking strips. Faking strips. Uh, bacon. you look at it, and everyone that's actually interested in it will need a nature check. I suck at nature, even though I'm a druid. Let me, let me, I'll try it anyway, I suppose. I have a zero in nature, God. I got a 13. Not that bad. Yeah, I got a 13. I got a 13. Yeah, um, yeah, it's me. Sweet. Don't care anymore. So, this over here is what? Uh, give me an H check. Yeah, that's meat. Lots and lots of meat. Oh, well, uh, it looks like it's been there for quite a while, and... Okay, so I immediately see the rats, and I'm ready in action, and I say... Well, not quite, because they heard commotion. So... And also, you did thunderclap in a cave. That's true. Oh my god, that's not the clap now. I want to kind of like point out, because I didn't really describe this, but like, god, that echoed. <laughs> hey. I'm fine, I have dragon. I have dragon blood, so my ears are fine. You guys, not so much. That's nice strength. Dragon blood yeah, yeah. Sure. No, not so nice initially. Oh my god. Right. At least so, I'm going before Sagra. Uh, as long as they don't roll higher than a 14, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> the normal rat's got a natural 1, and the Lojo rat's got a natural 20. No, oh, no, no, I'm dead. Wait, what do you mean you're dead? You took 2 damage. I know I have 11 health. <laughs> I have a max HP of 13. Oh, this is crazy. Hello, Mr. Rat. Wait, the large rat got a natural 20? Wait, that's a wall. Come on. It's climbing oh, alongside right the wall. These things can climb. Yeah, rats are crazy. They're ant rats. Run. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wouldn't be able to climb, like, further than that on the thing. Like, I wouldn't say that it could climb on one where it, like, completely covers it, but these things are also small. Like, not quite small, they're, like, tiny size, basically. Yeah. So. And then. This one is going to have to dash so that one can't attack. So, there's a lot of big rats, bro. You are surrounded. I have a plus four to hit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And they also have the pack. I hate the pack. What? All right, so that is a nine, thirteen, twenty. Uh, the twenty. You take 11 damage. You take 4 <laughs> points of damage. Wait, yeah, that's that's correct. Alright, both. Well, I think Harp's gonna do what she does best. Mock them? 
Oh, that was really bad. Oh, no. 14 HP of people fall asleep. Alright. Two of the blow drats fall asleep. Oh. Actually, where are we centering this on? Um, or an effects. Okay, yeah, two of the low threats fall asleep. If you center no, it no, on no. me, doesn't that mean I fall asleep? No, because no, it goes with the slow HP first. Actually, oh, okay. they have the same amount of HP as you do right now. So. Yeah, I have seven. I'm just gonna roll some 1d5s to see which one is affected first. Or effects, you owe it to you. Actually, Hoth, roll the one D two one D fives, because it is your spell. All right, so one of the rats and one effects fall asleep. I hate you. We could have offset it a little bit so that it didn't hit him. Ah. <sighs> Right, Not really, how felt that you walked in first. So, Ordvex, you are currently asleep for the next uh, nine rounds. What? Until somebody uses their action to wake you up. Uh, oh, God. Uh, if I pick him up, do they get attacks of opportunity on him? Um, I'm gonna say it's like a. Strength check for you, and if you get low enough, then yeah, they get attacks of opportunity. Does he feel like if you can yank him out of the way fast enough? Okay. I'm gonna try to pick him up and yank him out of the way. Yeah, 14. You yank him out of the way. Alright. Oh, and yeah, I'm gonna toss him over there. And I can't do anything else, can I? Uh, that is your action. Uh, my. How much health do I have? Yeah, I'm full health, yeah. I'll just, um... Yeah, I'll move right here. Don't you have action, sir? Do I? Is that oh. a thing that I have? I don't... Do you have... Yeah, no, what does that do? I take an extra action? Yeah, I, I'll use my action. And I will... Swing, yeah, I will sure attack... Huh? Oh, I was just looking that up, and it's like, yeah, oh yeah, you get that level 2, so, go ahead and I, make your attack. I will attack at this one right here, and, uh... Which one? Uh, the one right here. Okay. Alright, and I'll use my magic. With an 11. That so misses. Hit. And then I'll attack with my um, other hand axe. That hits. 50, and 7 damage. That is no health. Oh yeah, so you did So far, that. this magical axe has been pretty BS. Yeah, it's done a little bit. Alright. All right. Oh, anything else you'd like to do? Um, I don't have anything else I can do. Because that was my attack and my bonus action and my other action surge. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Shawgroth is going to walk over and bitch slap on effects. Hey, yeah, where you go? How much damage do I take? None, because it's just her action to wake you up. You take five points of emotional abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I was abandoned in the woods. I think I a slap wouldn't really affect, or I mean, abandoned as a kid. I don't think a slap would affect me that much. Or maybe oh, it would do the opposite helps. and awaken your energy. No, this is um, like the only human contact you have and it's human. Like negative. Whatever. Human. Person. Excuse me. I don't what? care about any besides dragon. Why? Come maybe on. Maybe that's dragon. why you were abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we got the It's your own fault that you were abandoned. Yeah, because before before I could even talk, parents knew that I only like them. You just shunned so everybody. One of them was a dragon. Alright. Those attack. Those are all gonna attack me, aren't they? I can take it. Uh, 
Uh, hello? Uh, they were currently moving. Everybody got quiet. Uh, that's because uh, they're like getting ready for a funeral, it's fine. Jesus. Yeah, because these rats are gonna kill me. You are left. they gonna attack me? Alright, so. You left now. These smaller rats attack you. Alright, what do they got? Because pack. Three of them attack. That is a seven, nine, and a four to hit. Yeah, they all three hit. Like, okay, so there was a one and a seven, a nine and a seven, <laughs> and a one and a four. Yeah, not even close. Like, what? I can't roll good against you. <laughs> no, right. but against me, it's no problem. Yeah. Worth both ways. And, uh... And then the loger ones are going to take their turn. <sighs> One of them did it. And two of them attack you. That is a 14 to hit and an 18 to hit. A 14 and a what? 18. Okay, the 18 hit. Alright. That is. Plus two. Six damage. Six damage. As it leaps at your leg, it takes a low chunk out of it. Ow. Tasty. Yeah, better be. Alright. Now it's hard. Yep. I cast Vicious Mockery on this one. Alright. I like how it has all that right now. It's so useful. Yeah. Um. Ornifex, this rat turns its head to the closest druid as it lets out a single tear. And then it goes back <laughs> to its fighting. The rat does? Yeah. It has disadvantage on its next attack. And Is it part of the forest? I don't care. It's down in a cave. If it's not part of the forest. I don't care. It's just begging for help against there's something that doesn't care. Ornifex. <laughs> I say, leave us alone. If you, if you don't want to be mocked, leave us alone. Go, shoo. You mean animal, ha animal handling? I don't do animal handling. You're a druid, man. You're a druid. You don't do nature. You don't do animal. Well, actually, I have a plus one to animal handling. So. Okay. Six. I don't do animals. Six. <laughs> so uh, I just uh, do the oh. other thing and I say, "Wait, can I get advantage if I go for per you alive and I produce flame?" Uh, by the way, you do a spell DC because your wisdom is thirteen. That's eleven, not twelve. Oh. Um, basically, you increased the resolve to attack you. Um... Attack me? Uh... Then they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll fire both of them, then. Alright. Uh, whichever... If I can hit a big one, I will. Um... Uh, you'll be able to hit either the sleeping one or this one. This one right here has... Partial cover. That. Because of me? Well, uh, there's you in the way, and also that rock. Just you in general because, wouldn't do it, but there's also that. Because it, because he's in the way, and that's sleeping, they can't each other out, so it's getting a normal attack, right? Uh, it actually being down on the ground and prone gives it a, uh, gives you disadvantage against that as well. Oh my god, I hate this. Um, so I can't do any of that. You know what? I'll just ready in action. I mean, you can't. Was that there was um that one that you just like was just like hey, this one. Which one? That one. Yeah. So does he have cover? Nope. Oh, then I'll shoot a fireball at him. A fireball. Seventeen. All right. Well, damage. Bitch. 
Jesus, 12 damage. God, what? Oh, next damage. Yeah, I got max damage. Oh, you added on charisma to that. I don't think you had on... Yeah, you oh, definitely yeah, did. No, 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 I didn't mean to add that. Didn't mean to add charisma, but that's... So that's because so. it, um, I dragged from the compendium and it automatically adds it to attack. So, so it would just be 10. Alright. I then say, run! <laughs> yes, run. Run. Give me those attacks. Oh, God. oh, it's my turn. Yep. Uh, what was it that I wanted to do? Take out the two rats. There was more to it, though. Uh, I think I can just at least swing at the the uh, big rat that's not a... It's my magic hand at. Is that, is, that, is that right right there? The one next to the big rat? The live rat? Oh, okay, it's good. Never mind. He just killed it. Oh. I'm swinging, I'm swinging at this one right Oh, here. you're swinging at that one? Oh, yeah. what happened to the floor? What? Uh, artifacts randomly start shipping on acid. So, yes, <laughs> you do hit that one. And... It's probably not. It's not good. Did the ground good. not disappear for anybody else? Nope. Nope. No, it's still here. I rolled a natural one on that. Yeah. And I'm gonna swing at it again with my other hand. With another 15. Oh, yep. That. I believe your base damage kills that. Uh. Yep. Base damage. Yeah, yep. you, you killed it. And. That's my turn. Alright. Uh, Shadrath is going to take a step around one effects. And is going to... Oh, it's 15 feet. She's gonna come over here and take out her battle axe as she does see something coming. And she's going to prepare her action. Rats. The ones around Ulgron. Oh, another one's gonna come up for Ulgron. Alright, so, 16, 18, and 17. I mean, 19, 18, and 17. So that's three points of damage to you all gone. Hello? Oh, he muted himself. Okay. Alright. And close end. This one's gonna put it here. Shockwrath is going to attack with a battle axe. And great axe. Great axe. That hits. Those two attack who? Uh, one hits. Oh, 
Roger Rats, that one is asleep. Hello. You move. I can't see what she's swinging at. So she's well, she's like, oh, the uh, um, the rats are moving now. Uh, you can hear her swinging at something, and more rat noises have came up. Okay. And that last one does. That one does hit her. She's like sturdy like I am, right? Well, she's decently sturdy. That does like 5 points of damage. Alright. Oh. Uh, Granny Green Grand. Yeah, um, one second. 